Hi friends, Dr. Nancy Trimbley here, putting the power and knowledge of your health back in your hands. Disenchantment. I have heard many comments from many patients lately about how the medical system has let them down. Now, we may be on different sides of the fence when it comes to whether the vaccine is safe, whether the vaccine is effective, who it's effective for. We may be on different sides of the fence when it comes to how often and where you should wear a mask. But I know especially now, and this is January, 2022, with so many people coming down with COVID, everybody is realizing that treatment at home is a thing to do immediately the zinc, the vitamin C, the vitamin D, early intervention with supplements can be hugely helpful. And where the medical system let us down was refusing that, demonizing that, and not even telling us that it was available for more than a year. So here are some of the comments I've collected from people I've seen over the last few months. Here's the first. Between the pharmaceutical companies and the insurance companies, I'm done. Then you add the mistakes the medical doctors have made. It's crazy. Second one. This is a woman that went to her medical doctor for a planned procedure. She said, he degraded me for 10 minutes because I decided I didn't want to take the shot. Then he did the treatment and then he proceeded to degrade me again like I was a child for another 10 minutes. She said, it's my choice. He had no right. This one, I don't trust the medical community anymore. We don't like the medical doctors anymore. They're just pull, pill pushers. We always thought it was true and now we know it. Not allowing people to get early intervention at home with supplements was a disgrace and it led to a lot of mistrust now. And it's not with the individual medical doctors because I hear great things from patients about how their medical doctor is recommending the very same supplements that I am. That is great, I applaud them. Listen to this one. There are so many predators now in the medical field, more than any other, it seems. You know, when you go to a medical doctor, what you have to remember is that they name disease and then treat it with drugs and surgery and maybe other interventions. That's their job to name the disease with a diagnosis and then treat it with drugs or surgery. So if you are looking for something else, if you're looking for something outside of the system, most often a medical doctor is not the place to go. And I don't fault them. I fault the conventional medical model. And there are some of my good friends and some of my own medical doctors that do work outside of that conventional model. You have to seek those out. Here's the last two I'm gonna read. There's no independent thought. So very often, especially what we've seen as of late is that medical doctors were told by the American Medical Association what to say. They were told that if you say something different, you will lose your license. And many very good notable medical doctors did and are still to this day losing their medical licenses to practice because they said something outside the medical conventional model and what it deemed was appropriate rather than letting them have independent thought. This last one, I'm tired of them. And that's a shame because the conventional medical model has a very good place in our society for, um, for crisis care, for injuries, for severe disease. Now where they've dropped the ball is recognizing that our own immune systems can be substantially augmented and that our bodies can be made even stronger to fight viruses, for instance, if given the right supplements. 
I wrote about this in Stealth Health. And the reason why I call Stealth Health Stealth Health is because unfortunately, sometimes we have to operate under the radar because we're outside the conventional medical model. And that is seen as bad. It's seen as um, dangerous. When meanwhile, holistic healthcare remedies are safer and a lot of times, many times, I would say the vast, vast majority of times are more effective with no side effects. So I talk about in Stealth Health, a couple things I'll bring up right now. One is, when did this happen? Well, I'll skip over the part about how the switch between natural, like holistic care and what we call mechanized care, that started at the time of Socrates. I'm gonna fast forward to the 1920s. Now in the 1920s, John D. Rockefeller was the richest man in the world. He was a billionaire because of his oil refineries. And he was a genius businessman. And he had these byproducts and he found that with those, he could compress powdered drugs into pills. Now he needed a market for this. So what he did is he hired a man named Robert Flexner who went to the medical colleges at that time. More than half of what we call, of what they called medical doctors at the time were homeopaths. Homeopaths use natural from nature, herbs and plants, and they create tinctures from that. Now, the, what we think might think of a conventional medical doctor using drug formulas, they would use powders. So what Robert Flexner did for John D. Rockefeller is he produced a report and he suggested that the medical schools should all be standardized. They should all teach the same thing. They should all produce the same result. And the same result that he wanted, what John D. Rockefeller wanted, was a medical doctor that prescribed drugs because this would use up some of the byproducts that John D. Rockefeller could then make a profit on. They eradicated homeopathy. They demonized it at that time for no good reason, other than the fact that they wanted American people to take drugs so that it would be a profitable, profitable proposition and profitable outcome. Was your health and your best interest in mind? No, because if it was, everything would still be available to you and without the stigma attached. And I talk about how many people, I talk about in Stealth Health, how many health practitioners have to stay off the radar. No website, they work in obscure locations because they don't wanna get closed down by a conventional medical model that has deemed them a threat. Not to the American public, they say that, but it's actually to the profit machine. So, you know, I've always had a healthy skepticism for pharmaceutical companies, and that has not changed in any way today. I've had my, for almost my whole adult life, a skepticism for the conventional medical path. And I've been a proponent of helping people to find a better way. And you can find somebody like, like me, you can find somebody in your neighborhood that you can use as what I call and still help your first ally. This is somebody that doesn't know everything about everything, but they have an insight into the holistic pathways that are out there. So find your first ally. If you're in my neighborhood, I'll be happy to do that for you. But find your first ally so they can help you unravel your mystery and help you to stay healthy and vital as the years go on. So as always, be well, turn off the news and go hug your neighbor. Bye for now.